Hello and welcome to the Cuisine Good Food Awards announcement for 2019 coming to you from this gorgeous bar, the Churchill at the Four Points by Sheraton. And thank you all for your patience, it's been a long time coming and we're excited, so excited to be delivering to you our roundup of the very best New Zealand dining experiences and also to be shining a light on some of the brilliant risk takers who are the movers and shakers behind them. My partner in crime tonight is no stranger to you, our lead assessor and convener for the Cuisine Good Food Awards, Kerry Tayak. Kerry, we are finally here. Yeah, and what a great year it's been. We are. It's good, good to be here. It's been a long year, but it's been a terrific year. And do you think, are we, are we in the same place that we were last year at this time? Uh, there have been changes, definitely, but perhaps not as great a leap this year as we've seen in previous years. In, in what way? What do you mean? Well, I mean, we've had um, some really important closures. Um, uh, we've seen some really important openings. Uh, you know, the likes of uh, Roots and Clooney leaving us. Uh, that's been a huge change in the market because they were so influential for so long. Mm. But then we've had other restaurants opening right around the country. And that's the exciting part of the business that we're in. Do you think there's been a redefining of the fine dining sector this year? Not so much. I think that the casualisation that we saw in previous years has continued. Uh, but I think people have recognised that there's always going to be a place for those restaurants that offer a level of service and dining experience that's not as casual as, say, the, the bistro and the, the fast food places. Mm. Well, we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about um, some of the adjustments that we've made to the scoring this year, um, in particular for our allocation of our hats and things, but we'll do that a little bit later on. I think let's just get on with it um, and kick off our first category. Lovely. Let's go. And so, before we kick off with our first category winner, these awards would not be taking place tonight without the support of our terrific partners. We're put in a difficult position this year when our major sponsor dropped out just as we began our final judging round. This forced us to make a decision to cancel the event this year and put all of our resources into the judging. Now, these companies have stood by us despite no longer having the opportunity to physically promote their fantastic products at the awards event, as they do every year. This shows a tremendous commitment to the New Zealand hospitality industry. And these brands and their companies, uh, we're very, very grateful to them. Our heartfelt thanks to Cardrona Distillery, Epicure Trading, Estrella Dum, Kenwood, Aura King, Palmu Farms of New Zealand, PPR and San Pellegrino for their crucial support. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to proceed with the 2019 awards. And now we have a few friends that really want to be with you in spirit tonight. Our first one coming from New York. Hey Kelly, Matt here, a little bit colder in America. Just want to say uh, congratulations to everyone that made the cut for the top 100. And uh, good luck getting those hats, guys. Um, sure. Thanks, Matt. Kerry, let's kick off with our first category winner. Deborah Peed, Sarah Monick and Anna Ferreira and Lisa Kritzik are the impressive women behind the powerhouse unit that is Peed PR, who have given us incredible support for this year's awards. Peed is a company that really gets the hospitality industry. The long-term player category recognises those restaurants that have been delivering excellence for years, have built a loyal customer base, and have played a part in the mentoring and training of many of the bright young chefs and restaurant teams that we're now seeing coming up through the ranks. Kia ora everyone and greetings from Pied PR. 
we are so pleased to be part of the Cuisine Good Food Awards and to presenting this category to the industry legend, the long-term player. We know what it takes to stay at the top of your game for the long term, the sacrifices that you make for your career and reputation. Sadly, there's no quick fix to becoming a legend. So we wish everyone the best of luck tonight and we look forward to seeing who takes out this hat. Cheers. There were many brilliant and iconic long-term participants across the country to consider for this accolade. But for 2019, the PR Cuisine Good Food Awards New Zealand Long-Term Player goes to a much-loved Wellington restaurant, Bullcott Street Bistro. Now on to the wine and drinks categories for 2019 and our best winery restaurant. This winery restaurant offers superbly polished dining from a barn on a hill with sweeping views out over the vines that provide the harvest for most of their wines. The wines are matched cleverly to elevate the entire dining experience and give the diner an understanding of how rewarding it can be when the wine and food are considered as one. The Cuisine Good Food Awards Best Winery Restaurant for 2019 is located in the Waipara Valley and our congratulations go to Black Estate. of our best wine experience has a wine list that is overseen by a spectacular sommelier and that list still has no peer. With over 80 wines available by the glass and with food that is innovative but without complication or fuss, the winner of the Cuisine Good Food Awards Best Wine Experience 2019 is once again Noble Rot from Wellington. Our next category is Best Drinks List, and our winner is a restaurant that continues to deliver doing what it does very well. Their drinks list is pure class, one of the most interesting in town, and with a sense of pride and excitement within. The Cuisine Good Food Awards Best Drinks List 2019 goes to Charlie Noble from Wellington. friends and family in New Zealand, how are you? Uh, I've been back in Taiwan for one week now and uh, now I'm working at Orchard Restaurant in Taipei. I know tonight is the night for you and um, I was very pleased and honored to be able to work at Cluny for two years and won the Three Hat Award last year. For all of those that you know me, it means a lot to me that be able to get, went back to New Zealand and won the Three Hat Award there. It means everything to me in my life. All the very best to you and good luck to you tonight. Bye bye. magazine, we started a regular column written by our young new food writer Matthew Patrick. It highlights chefs that are showing tremendous potential, but might not perhaps yet be at the head of a team or driving their own restaurant. The team at Estrella Dam have partnered with our One to Watch Award category because they are very excited at the thought of providing a platform for our rising talent. Our One to Watch is one half of a dynamic duo that have hit the restaurant pop-up scene going from strength to strength in the past year. They've morphed from humble beginnings into a polished pop-up dinner series, collaborating with some of New Zealand's most acclaimed restaurants and delivering an intimate and lively affair. Our winner is currently responsible for the food at a trendy new wine bar on Auckland's North Shore called Cave Van, 
where he continues to develop dishes for his pop-up series, Chimera. The Estrella Dam one to watch for 2019 is Connor Mertens. A highly anticipated innovation award is supported by Aura King Salmon and highlights the New Zealand chef who is pushing boundaries like no other. Grant Rosewarn and Gemma McCowan and the Aura King team work tirelessly to offer New Zealand chefs the opportunity to push boundaries and create inspiring dishes for the Aura King Salmon Awards. So we are delighted to have their support. Good evening. Nice to see you all at the Cuisine Good Food Awards 2019. And now it's time for the Innovation Award. Here at Aura King, we have a special place in our hearts for innovation, and we know you do too. We love to see what you bring to us in innovation, and we love to deliver you innovation as well. So congratulations in advance to the winner, and also to the finalists who joined the winner, and congratulations to all those winners out there tonight. Have a great evening. The recipient of the Aura King Salmon Cuisine Good Food Awards Innovation for 2019 is a chef who truly pushes boundaries with a thoughtful, quality-driven approach, immersing just six diners per seating at his chef's counter, where his philosophy is based around in-house preservation, fermentation, curing, dry aging, baking and cheese making. That chef is Ed Werner at Pasture in Auckland. Hi everyone, all the very best for tonight. Regardless of the final results, you should all be very proud of your inclusion. These awards are an important component to our wonderful industry, as is your contribution to a flourishing New Zealand food story. is a premium brand that needs no introduction. And what we love about Kenwood is that it is a product that has been developed to enhance our enjoyment of cooking, producing consistently high quality results with the greatest of ease. Now interestingly, those are very similar, if not exactly the traits that we're looking for in our Personality of the Year Award. A person with the ability to enhance our experience at a restaurant with the greatest of ease while delivering service of the highest quality. We're so excited to be presenting these awards for Personality of the Year tonight. Good luck, New Zealand. Kenwood's proud to be partnering with the Cuisine Good Food Awards 2019. Our winner this year has been dedicated to the art of hospitality for many years, having worked in and run many of our iconic establishments. She's also worked tirelessly to give back to her community, also working with Nourished for Nil, a non-profit organisation aiming to end food waste. The Cuisine Good Food Awards Kenwood Restaurant Personality of the Year is Prue Barton, Mr D, Hawke's Bay. Hello everyone. Just a quick hello and also wanted to say a massive congratulations to all those who received hats or hats so far. Also a massive shout out to all those who made the Cuisine Top 100 in 2020. No doubt the industry we're in is very challenging at times, so all these moments you've got to appreciate it, acknowledge it, share it with people that help get you there. So, But tonight belongs to you all, so congratulations, I raise my glass to you. Have a great night. 
and have a safe one. Cheers. Behind Epicure Trading, Catherine Bell and Pauline Moore are passionate about our hospitality industry. Their commitment to sustainability has always been to ensure there are eco-friendly products available to us in a world where plastic has been king. Epicure has been providing chefs and food lovers alike with inspiration since 2003. Good evening. Epicure Trading is delighted to once again partner with the Cuisine Good Food Awards 2019 to present the award for Best Casual Restaurant. Good luck to everyone and congratulations to all the winners. Our Casual Dining category winner is an unprepossessing from the outside and exciting within, occupying a prime spot within Wellington Laneways. It effuses fun alongside flavour-packed dishes and a welcoming, happy vibe. The Epicure Trading Cuisine Good Food Award for Best Casual Dining Restaurant goes to Shepherd and Wellington. Specialist Restaurant Award is an award reserved for a restaurant that tells a very special food story using culture and history and memories to bring people from all walks of life to its tables. San Pellegrino, who also present the San Pellegrino Young Chef Awards and partner with the World's 50 Best Awards, are our partners for this important category. This award goes to a restaurant that is playing an important role in growing our New Zealand food culture and showing incredible depth to Maori cuisine. This is achieved through careful storytelling and using impeccable technique and skill. The San Pellegrino Best Specialist Restaurant Award goes to Hiakai in Wellington. Farms New Zealand has partnered with us to present our Best Regional Restaurant Award. In particular, we're excited about their Pamu Deer Milk, sourced from the lush green countryside of the South Island. A unique product that many chefs are already experimenting with. Deer milk is a sophisticated ingredient with endless possibilities. Hey guys, we are super excited to be a part of the Cuisine Good Food Awards for 2019 and awarding the Best Regional Restaurant. We are so excited and wish everyone the best of luck and we can't wait to see who's going to be wearing the hats. Our best regional restaurant has developed a brilliantly executed menu that showcases the very essence of clean green New Zealand. The flavours here are so pure they're almost transparent. The winner of the Pamu Farms New Zealand best regional restaurant is Pacifica, Hawke's Bay.
fast-paced world of a top metro restaurant is competitive and demanding. Restaurants open and quite often close before they've even reached the three-year mark. And you need to be slick to survive. Cardrona Distillery are our partners for this highly contested award. Cardona Distillery is delighted to be part of the Cuisine Good Food Awards and presenting this category for Best Metropolitan Restaurant. Wishing everyone good luck and looking forward to seeing who's going to wear the hats of 2019. Slangeva. On the one hand, this restaurant proudly bears the hallmark of New Zealand fine dining. On the other hand, there's not a whiff of stuffiness. Their bar is super stocked and impressive and their food is elegant and simply delicious. The Cardrona Distillery Best Metropolitan Restaurant Award goes to Logan Brown in Wellington. So it's almost time for that all important part of the ceremony where we announce the hats for this year um, and something that is much anticipated. Before we do that, I think we should explain a little bit about the adjustments that we've made to the scoring this year. Um, for one hat now, it's 16. A restaurant has to score 16. For two hats, it's 17 to 18.5. And for three hats, it's 19 to 20. Yeah, and look, every year after the awards, we get a lot of feedback and we listen to every part of that feedback. And it's become clear that what we need to do is reassess the way that food has to be the hero of these awards. So it was only natural that we made those adjustments. So now you need to score 10 of those 20 points to, <clears throat> 10 of those 20 points are now allocated to food. In addition, what we were seeing was a lot of restaurants at that top end. And for the guide to have the meaning and the credibility that we want for it, we have to make sure that we don't have a million three hat restaurants. I mean, Australia, for example, with their huge population has only got seven, we had eight. So we needed to make some adjustments to take account of all of that. And we've done that. And I think that we'll continue to make adjustments as they become necessary. Mm. And of course, we must send a huge thank you to our assessors around the country. Um, such an important part of what we do. Yeah, we can't do it without them. I mean, we've got 40 so assessors around the country. Uh, we're fortunate that we have some of New Zealand's finest food brains uh, involved in the assessment process. Uh, they do it responsibly, they do it um, ethically, uh, and, and we rely heavily on them. And I, I have to thank them from the bottom of my heart for all the work that they put into those assessments. It's just invaluable. And it's quite a diverse group of experts as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know, there's writers, there's business people, there's people with huge hospitality experience. Um, and of course, we try and mix them up so that we get fresh faces in every year. Um, but at the end of the day, all of them have a thorough food knowledge and that speaks to what we're trying to achieve here. Mm. So before we get into announcing our hats, uh, let's hear from Ben Shuri. Thanks Kerry and Kelly and Kia ora New Zealand. Uh, my name is Ben Shuri, I'm the chef and owner of Attica Restaurant in Melbourne and congratulations to all of the category winners uh, so far this evening. It's really great that everyone is able to celebrate excellence in the New Zealand hospitality scene through the Cuisine Good Food Awards. It's really wonderful to be recognised, um, but I've always thought that, you know, awards are not the only reason uh, why, you know, I run a restaurant. Um, and every time that uh, we won an award, it kind of gave me a feeling that it wasn't satisfac satisfactory or enough. And so I've always focused on the everyday uh, and our people and our guests and our interaction with our community. Those are the most meaningful things to me. So, well, I hope you have a really great night and that you take it on board, you know, what, what happens tonight. Don't let it define you and keep doing what you love and keep being passionate hospitality people and lifting up New Zealand. Thank you. Cuisine Awards one hat for 2019 to the following restaurants. Braku, Auckland. Culprit, 
Auckland. Depot, Auckland. Hello Beastie, Auckland. Masu, Auckland. Mr D, Hawke's Bay. Chameleon, Wellington. Field and Green, Wellington. Hillside, Wellington. Noble Rot, Wellington. Urban Oystery, Nelson. Inati, Canterbury. Ortega, Wellington. Ode, Central Otago. Sherwood, Central Otago. Madame George, Auckland. Pegasus Bay, Canterbury. Scotch, Blenheim. Paris Butter, Auckland. Atlas, Wellington. Moati, Dunedin. Aosta, Central Otago. White and Wongs, Auckland. O'Connell Street Bistro, Auckland. Bullcott Street Bistro, Wellington. Gusto, Auckland. Capital, Wellington. Gatherings, Canterbury. Bellamy's, Wellington. And now for our two hat restaurants for 2019. Piscator, Christchurch. Hopgoods, Nelson. Rita in Wellington. Hippopotamus, also in Wellington. Hiakai, Wellington. Elephant Hill, Hawke's Bay. Craggy Range, Hawke's Bay. And, and Pallet in Waikato. The Grove, Auckland. The Engine Room, Auckland. The Grill, Auckland. Sid at the French Cafe in Auckland. Kazuya, Auckland. Badutsi, Auckland. Logan Brown in Wellington. Apiro, Auckland. Casio, Auckland. Casador, Auckland. Arbor, Marlborough. Lilius, Auckland. Astronomy, Hawke's Bay. Shepherd, Wellington. Rata, Central Otago and Black Estate, Canterbury. Now I'm sure you have already, if you've been paying attention, by a process of elimination, worked out who our three hat awards go to this year. Attention to detail is paramount at these five restaurants where they have created a dining experience that deserves the coveted three hat status. Cuisine awards three hats to the following restaurants for 2019. Amersfield, Central Otago. Kokoro, Auckland. Pacifica, Hawke's Bay. Pasture, Auckland. Siddharth, Auckland. Now before we announce our Chef and Restaurant of the Year, once again a massive thank you to our supporting partners, without whom there would not have been an awards this year. Our sincere thanks to Cardrona Distillery, Epicure Trading, Estrella Dam, Kenwood, Aura King, Pamu Farms of New Zealand, Pied PR, and San Pellegrino for their crucial support. And now to the chef 
who in our opinion has made the most impact during the last 12 months. It's an exciting time in New Zealand cuisine and there are a number of outstanding practitioners who could rightly be considered for this award. The Cuisine Chef of the Year Award goes to a chef who is at the very top of his or her game, delivering exciting and innovative food with unrivaled creativity. We've had our eyes on this person for a number of years and have witnessed their fascinating progression as over time they have put in the hard yards and crafted a set of skills that have earned the respect of their peers as well as the dining public throughout New Zealand. Let's hear from our 2018 Chef of the Year, Julia Stirler. It is this time of the year where we celebrate the Cuisine Good Food Awards and it's something that I feel thankful and proud to be a part of. More importantly, that award celebrate your family, celebrate your team. Those are the people that give you the energy to continue doing what you do. And take this success as an opportunity to give the best of yourself, to become a better person, because you know, only happy people can make happy food. Enjoy. The 2019 Chef of the Year is Vaughan Maybe Amersfield. Congratulations Vaughan and Team Amersfield. And now to our much anticipated Cuisine Restaurant of the Year Award. There is no room for error in this restaurant. The experience must be seamless from start to finish and the restaurant must deliver exceptional cuisine and be worth a special journey. This is a restaurant that can help sell New Zealand to the world as a premium dining destination. But first, Let's hear from last year's Restaurant of the Year, Kokoro. Hello everyone. Last year, receiving three hats and being named the Restaurant of the Year was one of the proudest moments in our career. Knowing what our team have done over the years with all they had and sold, and then finally be recognized with the highest honor formally for it, was just a dream came true. However, all hardworking hospital friends watching this would surely understand. It also comes with lots of pressure trying to keep these hearts. But such is life and we must channel that pressure into the drive that push us forward. Being named Restaurant of the Year was just another starting point. Congratulations to all of the hot winners tonight. And please don't fight me if we lost some heads. <laughs> and the Cuisine Restaurant of the Year for 2019 is Siddharth in Auckland. Oh, so there you have it, our Cuisine Good Food Awards for 2019. Congratulations to Sid and Chand and the Sid Art team, to Vaughan and the Amersfield team and to all of our winners tonight. I'm sure you have much to discuss, so we're going to leave you to it. But before we go, thank you to our lead judge, Kerry Tyak. Kerry, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you so much. Always a blast, Kerry. Good night from us here at the Churchill in the fabulous Four Points by Sheraton, Auckland. The Cuisine Good Food Guide will be available in the December-January issue of Cuisine magazine. And for highlights and more info, you can go to cuisine.co.nz or follow us on social at Cuisine Magazine. That's it from us, and we'll see you next year for the Cuisine Good Food Awards 2020. What do you reckon, Kerry? Can we drink these now? Absolutely. <laughs> Cheers.